Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Kim Cobb. I'm a former United States Navy chiropractor in San Diego, now practicing in Metro Manila, Philippines. In today's episode of 10 Minutes to Health, we're going to talk about how your smartphone can actually be causing a lot of your health issues, pain, and discomfort. So let's get right to it. So before we get started, let's talk about our head and neck and how it's affected when we're looking down on our smartphones. On top of our neck here is our head and it weighs about 10 to 12 pounds on average, which comes out to be about 4.5 to 5.5 kilograms. And that's in neutral position. Our head is right over our shoulder. But as we flex forward from normal alignment, looking down at our phone, the weight of our head increases. For example, if our head is down about 15 degrees, it jumps up to about 27 pounds, which is equal to about 12 kilograms. And I've seen many times people have their chin down to their, their chest. That's about, and that's about 60 degrees inflection, causing the weight of the head on our neck to increase from 10 to 12 pounds all the way to 60 pounds. That equals to about 27 kilograms. So what's happening is you actually have the weight of a small child sitting on top of your neck while you're looking down at your smartphone. And the time we spend looking down at that smartphone has increased year after year. And in fact, it's increased to about four hours per day. Now let's take a look how it affects our spine while we're looking down at our smartphones. I have with me, this is a spinal model, it's, it's plastic. And I've had this for over 20 years now. I, as a chiropractic student, I use this in my studies. You can see it still has my name on it. So looking from front to back, the spine should not have any curves. But if we look to the side, it should have three amazing curves. It's called the cervical lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, and uh, lumbar lordosis. But today we're gonna to look at the neck. And you can see that in proper alignment, the neck should have a nice curve, which acts as a cushion for the weight of our head. But as we move forward, more and more looking down at our smartphones, you can see how the neck is straighter now and it's in misalignment. The goal is to re try to restore this curve as much as we can. But before we talk about that, let's go over how to prevent this from happening. So how do you know if you have tech neck? What are the common symptoms? The complaints we hear from patients are pain in the neck, stiffness, loss of range of motion, pain between the shoulder blades, headaches are very common. When with chronic issues of tech neck, it can lead to accelerated degeneration of the cervical spine, causing inflammation, disc bulges, pressing on the nerves, that can go down to the arm, causing numbness and tingling, or weakness, which could lead to the need for surgery. So if you're using technology excessively, you're probably having all the same symptoms. Now let's go over the tips on how to avoid this. The first tip I want to recommend is to get up often. If you're working at a desk on a computer all day, every 10 to 15 minutes you should get up, walk around a little bit, walk around the desk, go get a drink of water, or so on to get the blood flowing and give your head and neck a break from looking down at a screen. Another important tip I want to share today is how to properly hold your smartphones. To avoid looking down at them all day, I'd like to recommend that you hold it up at eye level. You do lose some privacy, but it's really going to help avoid tech neck. And the third tip I'd like to share is to increase the strength of your upper back muscles and neck. An exercise you can do to strengthen your upper back muscles are rowing machines at the gym or at home using resistance band. And the last tip I want to share is to increase your aerobic exercise. I like walking myself. So 10, 20 to 30 minutes of walking gives us a break from the uh, smartphones and technology and we're moving the joints, getting the blood flowing and it helps relax the muscles. But you can also do swimming, the elliptical machine, or light jogging. I hope these four tips help you avoid and alleviate tech neck. 
And then if there's another topic you'd like for us to cover, please leave a comment below. And if you like our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. There are other videos you may be interested in. Right up here is what I recommend. And down here is what YouTube chose for you. We'll see you next time. Take care and be well.